Why, hello there, America. How are you? Well, for the guy who's dressed, not a little longer in the pants you go get. Frank Barris, you want to be president? You invite me in on election day. My secret weapon, right? So I'm here at Bill Gates's grocery store, campaigning for the presidency. Let's see how this goes, huh? I'm running for president, folks. Write me in on election day. Thank you. Thank you. What in the world are you doing? Uh, running for president? Yeah. Turn that off. No. Okay, then you need to leave. You can't. We don't want you disturbing our customers. So there's an open space over there. Okay. Then you're welcome to do it over there. I'm. All, I can do it at the open space over there. It's up to me. I didn't know it was up to me. They, he told me to come here. I, went, I was over there, and the security guard literally told me to come stand in front yeah, of your door. No, no, this is no I know. I'm just telling you that the security guard that just told you to tell me to leave told me to stand here. Isn't that weird? Yeah. Okay. okay. So, now so no, I'm leaving. I'm just pointing out how ridiculous this is. Here's your license. Thank you. If they don't want you here, uh -huh. then you need to leave. Okay. It's up to them. Well, that's what he said before okay. he called you and then said he didn't call so you. What? What the fuck is wrong with it? What's wrong with you? You're an asshole is what's wrong with you. Yeah. Well, at least we agree. Yay. Bye. Bye bye now. I am. Bye bye now. Are you you making me leave? Bye bye now. In public? Bye bye now. You're gonna make me leave. Bye bye. Yeah. You're real mature. You're an asshole. I know. Bye bye now. Yeah. Okay. Are we done? Because I, I swore you had you said you had something to do. Oh I got I got plenty of time. Okay. I, I swore he said he had stuff to do. Yeah, plenty of time. I could I stay here Could've for a sworn. long time. Okay. Fun. I can stay here yep. for yeah. you know. This isn't harassment. Wow. Oh. So why did uh fake officer Huber lie to me? That's a little that's kinda weird. I don't know. Maybe he's just a liar. I Maybe it's know. just a he's a liar and you're an asshole. Look at these two. Peas in a pod. <laughs> Look all around me, folks. There's no basket of stuff. You know, I'm always that homeless guy pushing that basket of stuff. That's not me today. Today, it's just this stuff. Just a backpack, a side bag, and some water. You know why? Because I'm campaigning for the presidency today. I'm gonna hang out at the Whole Foods closest to Bill Gates's house. I mean, that's gonna be the richest folks around, right? The richest man in the world shops his servants go out and they shop at the very store where I'll be campaigning today. Maybe, just maybe, we'll find enough money today that I'll take this campaign to the next level before it's too late. Madam President, write me in on election day. All right. All right, folks, I'm off to campaign. Me and my crazy hair are gonna go campaign for the presidency today. And uh, who knows? Maybe things will work out in my favor. Could happen. It could happen, yeah. So it takes three buses to get to Bill Gates' grocery store. Bus number one. Bus number two. I promise I'll fix my hair before I actually start campaigning for the presidency. Look at that craziness. Woo! <laughs> I am, after all, going to Bill Gates' grocery store. Of course I'm gonna look nice. Why, hello there, America. How are you? That's better. There we go. Alrighty. You ready for this day, friends? Are you ready for this day, America? When Frank Barish campaigns for the presidency at Bill Gates Grocery Store. Why not? Seriously though, that's where the money is, right? Why not? I'm running for president, I'm running on election day. I'm running on election day, I'm running for president. So I mean let's be honest, America. I'm probably not gonna become president this year. Well technically next January 20th. I'm probably I'm probably too far behind. But I'm gonna keep campaigning until the end. And you know, there's always 2020. Frank for president 2020, oh yeah! Could be a thing. I mean, I have a feeling you're gonna... I mean, America as a whole is going to regret not voting for me this year if you don't. I mean, I still think I might. I might pull this off. I'm not gonna... 
You know, it's kind of lame of me to give up like this. I shouldn't give up. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, America. I'm sorry I gave up on you. You haven't given up on me yet. I said yet. No, I'm gonna keep trying. I might just be president. It could happen, right? I mean, all it takes is for you to write me in, oh yeah. Vote for the guy in the dress, not the warmonger in the pantsuit, oh yeah. I wanna be your president, America. Oh yeah. This guy. I know you're violating my rights right now. Not. You're not? I'm not breaking any laws, so what are we doing here? Yeah, I'm not gonna engage you. Just wait until I'm done. I shall, sir. I shall. The America that we love, oh yeah. It's in trouble, oh yeah. And you can save it, oh yeah. You have to write in Frank Barish, oh yeah, oh yeah. America, we all know how smart you are. You're not gonna vote for Donald Trump. And you're certainly not gonna vote for Hillary Clinton. So what are your choices? Well, you could write in Frank Barish. I'm <laughs> sorry to yell at you folks. I'm just a little upset that I'm this far behind. You know you can trust me, America. I'm Frank Barish, for the love of God. And you have to write me in. That's the only way to save America. There's, we're running out of ways to save America. This might be the last chance we have. It's, am I kidding? <laughs> this started as a joke and all. That's my bus. Bus number three. Bus number three, oh yeah. Run for president, that being on election day. Vote for the guy in the dress, not the warmonger in the pantsuit. Bus number three, oh yeah. Alrighty, driver, take me to Bill Gates Grocery Store, please. Oh, the hair. Let's get the hair ready so I look at least somewhat presidential. Am I right? All right. Well, if you go by Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, it looks like a good section of the electorate really doesn't care about hairdos. I'm not even going to get into the whole Hillary wears a wig uh, theory, but uh, apparently hair has very little to do with who becomes president. So, but I still would like to look nice for campaigning. It is going to be, you know, Bill Gates' grocery store. And there it is. There over yonder, Bill Gates grocery store. This is where I show you that I mean business, America. I've been dancing around this whole, oh yeah, I'm kind of running for president, but I'm, you know, also a homeless guy type of thing. And as much as I feel like money is the root of all evil, I also recognize that I need to get off the streets if I want a chance of becoming president. I mean, you know this, we all know this. Maybe, just maybe, this light will finally turn green, for the love of God. I mean, hello? Oh, and then I almost get hit by a Mercedes. That would be the thing, man. I come here, that's one way to get money. Just come to this town, try to get to the grocery store where the richest man in the world shops, and get hit by a car as I'm crossing the street. And then get a big settlement, and then use that settlement to run for president. Then become president, and this was all worth it. That almost just happened. But I guess I'll campaign instead, because that woman in the nice car that almost hit me stopped and didn't hit me. So, you know, plan B. Oh, yeah. This is Bill Gates' grocery store, folks. I'm a little nervous. I'm for Frank for president. For Hillary or Donald? Really? You don't want to do this. Uh, what, what, what do you want for president? Yeah. Good idea. I know, alright. Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump? Right me in. I'm running for president. How are you guys doing? I'm Frank Parrish. I'm running for president. We'll be right in. I don't have Frank. I'm running for president. Write me in on I don't think any of those people are going to vote for me. Damn it. I'm running for president. Hope you write me on election day. Thank you. I'm running for president. 
Hope you're writing me in in November. Please check me out on social media. Right in a candidate, but it's Bernie Sanders. <sighs> All the times that old man has stolen my thunder. This but is we a bad thing. Listen, it's the drug war. Stop it. No. He's like, we got to fight the drug war harder. After all these fucking because years, the people really. people that are most affected by what's happening are forward with a plan that is going to divert the drug people war? from the criminal justice system. How about ending the drug war? That would do that. with mandatory minimum sentences. That would do that. put too many people away for too long for doing too little. We need to have more second chance programs. Well, you don't need I'm a second chance if you get rid of the drug war. Ending private prisons in the Well, you don't need the private system. prisons if you get rid of the drug the war. State system. You should I'm gonna get my campaign funded. I had to come to the rich folks, right? I'm Frank Barrington. I want to be your president. Oh yeah, that's how I roll, folks. I'm running for president. Check it out. Oh, great. Go on, man. Okay. to raise money. Running 
Running for president, right here. I'm running for president. Yeah, yeah exactly right. President Donald Trump. I'm on a president. I mean, I like today. Okay. Or at least check me out on social media. I'll do that. Thanks. Does she know something I don't? Does she know that I'm gonna win? Oh my god. I'm running for president. I mean, I like today. Thanks. Thank you. How's it going, boss? Uh, pretty good. Awesome. Uh, the campaign here? What are you campaigning? The president's here. Frank, the president. Huh? I'm not soliciting, I'm not doing anything, just handing out cards. Oh, you will have a good day. Well, I have to win. It's a step by step process. Can't really have a solicitation. No, it's not solicitation. Yeah. The law has a, a loophole for people who are doing anything related to campaigning. Uh -huh. So, well, technically, I'm allowed to campaign. You can't get the right here. What do you like? You go out towards like a parking lot or whatever, it's fine. It's not very right concerning. Okay. Because the fact is, Standing in the parking lot, pretty much. And legally, I can do this anywhere as long as I'm not blocking anything. Well, I can't have you. You're still up here as a problem. And like, so your stuff is there, so you know, legally, it's called bordering. Uh, I mean, if you want me to well, talk to the police, I can. What's that? I, if you want me to talk to the police, I can. Well, yeah, I'd like to find out. I know, in, I know in San Diego proper that there's a specific provision within the law that allows for campaigning. So I, 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 I understand where you're coming from. They have certain policies. Well, of course. Yeah. But the, the law of, of the law is that I'm allowed to campaign. So you're asking me to stand in the parking lot, which would cause a traffic hazard. Actually, I'm asking you just to leave the, the city in this area. I don't know if you're just in the parking lot. Basically, you can leave this vicinity. The you want me to leave the, the whole plaza? Not the plaza. Uh, running for president? Yeah. Turn that off. No. Okay, then you need to leave from here. Okay. What, is, okay. what law am I bringing? You're, you're, well, they asked you to leave already. Security no, he didn't. The security specifically said I can stand right here. Um, well, he asked you to leave from the uh, parking structure. And he specifically said I can stand well, in front of the grocery store. You want to watch the tape I, of him I, saying I that? I just talked to him, and he said he didn't want you over here. He specifically okay. said I can okay. stand in front of the grocery store. what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm running for the presidency. Of what? The United States of America? Yeah, you're not. I, actually, I am. See where it says your, Frank for president? Where's your ID? Come on, I'll take one of those? No, I don't. Okay. I'll get the ID for you. Can sure. I go over here and get it? Lord have mercy. Oh, let's go. Yo, oh, oh, you're in a hurry. I, 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 well, you didn't have... Okay. I got other stuff to do. Do you really? There you go. Lord have mercy. So I have the, the security guard on tape saying I can stand in front of the grocery store specifically. And now you're telling me I can't? Good for you. Well, don't you think it's weird that he would call you after telling me it's okay to stand right here? No, I don't. Does he normally lie to you? Okay, can you stop and let me do what I need to do? If you want to be done, then let me do what I need to do, okay? So stop talking until I ask you a question. 
That's not how it works, but okay. That, that is how it works. No, it really isn't. Please arrest me for talking. I'm not arresting you for talking. I, did I say you were under arrest? No, I'm just proving okay, that so I can so keep talking. Don't sit there and say to your little recording I'm that I'm proving I'm arresting a point you. that I'm allowed to keep talking okay. and you can't tell me to stop. If you want to get out of here and you want to be done with me, then you will stop talking to me and let me write what I need to write. I was talking to my okay. camera and then you had this whole thing. So I'm not breaking any laws. So what is he doing here exactly? Any scars, marks, or tattoos? Do what? You want to search me? Do you have any scars, marks, or tattoos? I do. Where are they? What are they? Don't think I have to tell you that. Just asking a question. Are you now? No, I don't want to search you. Good for you. I really don't. Good. This guy, huh? How about this fella? Hey, you doing? Officer Williams? <sighs> Lord have mercy. You're right, Lord have mercy. Yeah? Is this the city of San Diego? What do you think? Well, you said San Diego what, what police. Do well, I do, which means okay, then. There you go. which means you the law, your own question, which means the you? law has a provision that I'm allowed. You answered your own question. Well, so if you'd stop talking, question. then you'd understand that the law had a provision it, it that allows. A, it was a rhetorical question. Then, no, this guy never shuts up. This guy. Do you have an address? I'm homeless. Is that gonna be a problem? Did I say it was a problem? Oh, Lord. <sighs> Like, I don't have enough strikes against me trying to be president without all this crap. I mean, right? So we can test out my theory here that the amount of uh, ammo that a police carries is indicative of just how paranoid they are. This guy's got three extra clips. So he's not quite as paranoid as that guy with four, but he's more paranoid than the one who had two. So that's all I know about this guy, about Officer Williams. What's your name? Nora. T. First Huber. name of Seth. Lied to my face. Date of birth, five states. Lying to me now. Right, Huber? Huber the liar? Huber the liar right here. Sorry. What the fuck, man? Um, you just walked into me? Your voice is going on the Oh my god. I'm sorry, sir. You okay? Yeah, would you just stop filming? I'm not filming you. Why did you You walked into me. Oh dear Lord! He didn't walk into oh, you. for the you love of God! Into him. I just watched it. Oh Lord! How many of you are there today? And, and you just said that he walked into you. Well, we he walked into each anything. other. No, he was walking by. And, and I said sorry, and he decided to have a whole thing. And you put well, this guy. None of this would have happened if why, this guy hadn't you, lied. You just blame everybody. Why are you an asshole? This guy lied. Okay, he lied well, to my okay, face, right. or you're lying to me. Which okay. one of you lied? Take it however you want to take it. One of you lied. He said okay. I could stand here, and then he okay. called you, and well, now he's saying he didn't call great. you. Great. And then take you dropped it. my license. Take it for whatever you want to take it asshole. for. Asshole. Asshole. Look at this asshole. So California Municipal Code allows for electioneering and other campaigning, which is exactly what I'm doing. So I'm not sure what this guy is going to do, but he literally can't make me leave. So let's see how this goes. How nice of the security guard to lie and say it's okay to stand right here and then call the police. Isn't that awesome? So while we're waiting, were, were you aware that Municipal Code of San Diego has a provision that allows for electioneering and other campaign? You don't have to be okay to Okay. Oh, thank you. All right, officer. Have a nice day. Right. Look at these two. He's in a pod right here. An instigator. Instigator. Right. Now, if he pulled you over for being black, how pissed would you be right now? No, 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 no. He's black. I'm white. No, I'm just saying. A, a, a cop pulls you over for being black. Would that be wrong? Guess what? Guess what? Huh? My daughter's in. Fox News, okay? Good for She's you. She's married to a black guy. Okay. So what? There's no right. such thing as black white. Shouldn't he shouldn't be telling him to move on? No. I heard you. You can get 
Ah, no such thing as harassment. That's oh, this guy. I'm just, I'm just doing you know my he's job, a cop, and, you know. No, uh, would you claim that he was harassing you? Yeah. Who are you, and why are you in my business? And why does this cop seem to know you, officer? The cop doesn't know me. I think he does. He's, he's in public. I think like he's an undercover are. cop because he's getting way up in my business. Really? Way up in my business. Look at this guy up in my business. Not sure why. So why did you lie to me? Well, let's ask this guy. Why did you lie to me and tell me it was okay to stand in front of the grocery store and then call the police? I didn't call the police. You didn't call the police? Yeah. He says he didn't call you guys. Wow, just lies all over. Everybody's lying. Have a nice day, officer. Me, officer? Yep. Clearly. Jesus Christ. Never a dull moment. These okay. assholes. Here's your license. Thank you. If they don't want you here, uh -huh. then you need to leave. Okay. It's up to them. Well, that's what he said before he called you and then said he didn't call you. So what the fuck is so wrong with you? What's wrong with you? You're an asshole is what's I wrong am. with you. Yeah. Well, at least we agree. I Yay. Bye-bye right. bye -bye now. I am. Bye-bye now. Are you, you making me leave? Bye-bye now. In public? Bye-bye now. You're going to make me leave. Bye-bye. Yeah. You're real mature. You're an asshole. I know. Bye-bye now. Yeah. Okay. Are we done? Because I, I swore you had you said you had something to do. Oh, I got I got plenty of time. Okay. I, I swore you said he had stuff to do. Yeah, plenty of time. I can stay here for a long sworn. time. Okay. okay. Hey, oh, oh, oh I, you're in a hurry. I, 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 well, you didn't have... Okay. I got other stuff to do. Do you really? You yeah. said he had stuff to do. Yeah, plenty of time. I can, I can stay here for a long time. Sworn. Okay. Yeah, fun. I can stay here yeah. for... Okay. You know? This isn't harassment. Wow. So why did a uh, fake officer Huber lie to me? That's a little... That's kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe he's just a liar. I Maybe he's just a... He's a liar and you're an asshole. Look at these two. Peas in a pod. These two assholes. Very bad policy. Oh, now he's going in to tell them to say that I have to leave. All right, that's the plan, huh? Ball the law, asshole. You have a nice day, though. So now Huber's going in to tell them to tell me that I have to leave because that's the provision that he just set up. Nice. So now he's going in to get the manager to say that I have to leave so you can kick me out. Is that what's happening now? Huh? Part of the asshole maneuvers? I assume since you said you had stuff to do and you're still hanging out. And because he whispered in your ear like your girlfriend and then went in and he's talking to the manager, right? You know, I'm not going to leave because I'm not breaking any laws. So good luck with that. Running for president, sir. Check it out. So I'm campaigning for the presidency with a policeman standing behind me because, you know. My buddy here. out of the camera apparently but he's there I'm running for president check it out Thank you. If I win you're fired that's all I gotta tell you how you doing I do you can't do this I can't do what you can't we don't want you disturbing our customers so there's an open space over there okay you're welcome to do it over there I'm all, I can do it at the open space over there it's up to me I didn't know it was up to me they he told me to come here I had I was over there and the security guard literally told me to come stand in front yeah, of your door yeah. no this is no I know I'm just telling you that the security guard that just told you to tell me to leave told me to stand here isn't that weird yeah okay, okay. so no so, I'm leaving I'm just pointing out how ridiculous this is. Good for you. I'm gonna go back to work. Okay. Have a nice day. I'm running for president, man. Check, check it out on election day. Oh, no, Have a good day. I'm not letting this go, fuck this. It's out there, I almost dumped into that lady. Could you get your sergeant down here, please? Uh, no, I can't actually. What's your, your northern division? 
No. What division are you? Northwestern. Northwestern. Okay. Refused to get his supervisor. So just to be clear, the security guard made me move from right there to over in front of the grocery store, and now they made me move from there to right back here. That's what all that was. Hey man, uh, I gotta... I was gonna talk to him, but apparently he really is an asshole. Look at this asshole. It's just a shame. See, I thought I could get him to leave. But by now, I just had to walk over and try to talk to him. But by now, asshole.